we are entering in to the unknown, the untested, and we're going on a journey together. With many parts of the state now allowing dine-in for restaurants and in-person retail sales, Governor Gavin Newsom says get ready to see more positive cases. As you have more mixing, you have more opening of the economy, that's inevitable. But that's not in and of itself an alarm bell. Today, Newsom announced that barbershops and hair salons can reopen. Guidelines say stylists and customers need to wear face coverings while physically distancing as much as possible. We're not even out of the first wave of this pandemic. People are talking about the second wave. That's many, many months off. The reality is this pandemic has just begun. It hasn't ended. Over the weekend, the state announced churches could once again hold in-person services, but with guidelines severely limiting capacity. Newsom says guidance for summer camps, child care facilities and schools is coming soon. As the state moves to lessen restrictions, it's up to individual counties to decide when to move forward. More and more responsibility, more and more accountability now being placed on the counties and their health directors. Currently, we are maintaining the federal and state metrics. However, the next 21 days, uh, are essential to maintain our progress. The holiday weekend kicked off Friday with health officials closing down popular bar and restaurant El Prez in Pacific Beach. But during the holiday weekend, San Diego police say they issued no citations to people or businesses for violating new rules. I would say by and large we're doing a really good job as a region and we just want to continue that. On Saturday, though, the Port of San Diego Harbor Police cited flagship cruises for restarting their boat tour operations. Flagship argues they aren't operating as a charter business and will continue their bay tours. But county health officials made it clear today that flagship is not allowed to run tours under the current health order. They're simply not covered, and if they continue to operate, they're going to continue to be cited. Health officials say we may have already peaked in terms of cases here, but if people don't follow current guidelines, we could peak again. There have been no COVID-19 associated deaths reported over the last few days, but health officials say that's due to a lag in reporting from the holiday weekend. We anticipate that we will see uh, increased number of deaths uh, tomorrow and continuing in the week. County officials Tuesday also moved to allow one-on-one -on -one instruction for exercise and sports once again. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.